Now let's discuss pancreatic secretion. The pancreas is located very close to the duodenum of the small intestine. The duct of the pancreas merges with the bile duct through the sphincter of odi. These ACE in our cell are filled with granules. These granules are vesicles containing enzymes. The fluid enters the lumen as isotonic. These ACE in our cells contain granules containing the enzymes. These vesicles fuse with the membrane and release the enzymes. It's triggered by ACH and by CCK. These two triggers increase IP3 concentration, increases calcium concentration, triggering the exocytosis of enzymes, which then follow down through these ducts, and eventually released into the duodenum. Along this duct, we see a large amount of bicarbonate being secreted. The bicarbonate is triggered by secretin, which through cyclic AMP opens up these CFTR chloride channels. This CFTR stands for Cystic Fibrosis Transmembrane Regulator Chloride Channel. In cystic fibrosis, this channel is defective, leading to a decrease in chloride secretion. We have sodium-potassium pumps, chloride channels. Chloride ions, which are released in this region, are then reabsorbed and replaced with bicarbonate. Bicarbonate, of course, is produced by the combination of CO2 and water. Hydrogen ions are then secreted onto the serosal side. ACH triggers this through the IP3 mechanism, increasing calcium concentration. So these two mechanisms allow for large amounts of bicarbonate to be exchanged for chloride into this pancreatic duct. As we move down the duct in this direction, we see very low bicarbonate concentration, close to plasma, about 25 milliequivalents per liter. It's beginning to increase as we move down this duct until we get to about 140 milliequivalents per liter exiting into the duodenum. We saw almost the exact opposite for chloride secretion, about 135 milliequivalents per liter, which then reduces down to about 20 milliequivalents per liter. In the case of cystic fibrosis, however, bicarbonate and chloride exchange does not occur, and therefore bicarbonate is close to plasma. Chloride is also close to plasma concentrations. The rate of secretion also affects bicarbonate concentration. If we're down here, somewhere near basal at this point, as the rate of secretion increases, bicarbonate concentration rises and chloride concentration falls. We see no significant change in sodium or potassium concentration. As duodenal pH falls, there is a basal level of secretion of bicarbonate until we reach about pH 4.5. At a pH of approximately 4.5, bicarbonate secretion begins to rise and rise increasingly fast until we reach about 3, at which point we're at near maximal bicarbonate secretion. So pH is any lower than 3, we see no more increase in bicarbonate secretion. As with the gastric phases, there are also three phases in pancreatic secretion. First is the cephalic phase, which is caused by thinking about food, smelling food, tasting food. This triggers the parasympathetic nervous system to release gastrin. Gastrin and ACH, again from the parasympathetic nervous system, triggers these ACE in our cells to secrete enzymes. ACH also enhances the production of bicarbonate secretion. In some mammals, gastrin also assists in bicarbonate secretion. And I've drawn that in a broken line here because there's no evidence that this happens in humans. Doesn't mean it doesn't, but we have no evidence at the moment that gastrin enhances bicarbonate secretion. The gastric phase occurs also through gastrin secretion and ACH. The gastric phase is very similar. However, the increase in gastrin in the gastric phase drives this even to a higher level than in the cephalic phase. So we begin to see a lot of enzymes being secreted. Enzymes like trypsinogen, which is the precursor to trypsin, which is a protease assisting in the breakdown of polypeptides, which were first produced by the breakdown of proteins in the stomach through the action of pepsin. Now we further increase the breakdown through trypsin. And there are other enzymes which we can talk about in future lectures, including chymotrypsin, aminopeptidases, carboxypeptidases, etc. 
Also, lipase is one of the enzymes that is secreted into here to help break down fats, and pancreatic amylase to continue the breakdown of carbohydrates. And finally, there is the intestinal phase, and in the intestinal phase, CCK, which we saw earlier, helps to hold the pyloric sphincter closed, is triggered by fats and amino acids entering duodenum. CCK, which is a member of the same family of gastrin, enhances enzyme secretion along with ACH. Secretin, or sometimes called secretin, released from S cells, is responding to hydrogen ions in the duodenum. And this enzyme stimulates bicarbonate secretion in the ductal cells along the tubules. And once again, there is some indication in many mammals that secretin enhances enzyme secretion in these ACNR cells. But once again, we have no evidence for this in humans. Well, that concludes this discussion on pancreatic secretion.